Welcome to another episode of Tea Time as we bring you the biggest sentiment stories and have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin and to do the talking and analysis with me, I have Ife Olu and Fantastic. we have Ife on my back. She's well <laughs> never. Yeah. But she's sick. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She was playing 10 10 in the <laughs> She was strong, not sick. Mm. Ah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just need to get my appetite back, that's all. But I'm good. You wow. are. are you sure? <laughs> there is something you must want to eat. It's just not available for you to go out and buy. But I have a confession to make. Okay. I, oh I, my I, gosh, you missed me. <laughs> I know. I missed you anyway, but it's not that deep. <laughs> um, this morning was the first time. I stumbled on Tori Lane's Instagram page. Right. Because I woke up in the morning, finished reading my devotion, and I saw Tori Lane's is live. <laughs> my stupid self clicked it. Oh, it's a bum bum. Ha! <laughs> Original. Yeah. I saw, I shared the links to you yeah. too. And I was like, is this what he was doing yep. when Ike Bona was dropping yep. the flag? Yep, yep, yep. So what was the correlation? Exactly. Ike Bona, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. There is no correlation. That's why it was very annoying. <sighs> okay. All right. Um, I guess we should Did get you go to, to this story. With, with Khalifa's part. Um, on with Khalifa's no, page. No, him. He came on. He came live on with Khalifa's part. That's another topic for another okay. day. Okay. What happened? Another topic for another day. Okay. Charles Opaleke's play network driving cinema launched yesterday in Abuja and was sold out. Um, as the pandemic continues to put a strain on every sector, including the entertainment industry, drive-in cinemas have reported a surge in attendance in the United States, Germany, France, and parts of Asia. Well, now Nigeria has joined the league, and um, I think it's coming to Lagos. I'm not sure of the exact date for Lagos, but it's coming to Lagos. Next next week. Is it next week? 22nd, I guess. Mm. I'm 22nd, it's yeah. 22nd, then it's That's this weekend, tomorrow. you know? Yeah, probably. But um, I think they will... Probably open on the twenty second, but probably tomorrow not. is happening on the twenty second. Then the link to yeah, buy that was your the date he gave us last week. Now. That was the date he gave I us. I don't last think so because they well, I don't know. Usually you don't buy tickets at the at least that's what they did in Abuja. You have to. It was sold out before they started, so mm. you are not supposed to come there to buy tickets. So if it's going to happen tomorrow, mm. then there should be. And a maybe link there was now. a postponement. I don't know about that, but the date he gave us last week was twenty second. Mm. But this is good, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is. I have a friend that actually attended, and I asked him how his experience was. He said that the layout was very poor, so. Um, the layout, in yes. sense. Um, so usually in cinemas, even though you sit at the back, mm -hmm. it is um, elevated so everyone can get to see the cam, the what's called the screen. Mm -hmm. But then the problem with this is that if you're at the back and everywhere is, everyone is flat, you can't really see the screen properly, mm -hmm. especially if you're now looking through like the a limited, you know, um, car window thing so a lot of the times he had to he felt like he needed to stretch out of his um neck his neck i had that feeling but i wasn't well. there so i wouldn't mm. say for sure but when i saw the videos on some um friends page i felt like how comfortable was this going to be for people at the back yeah from what we are saying i don't know how many screens but it was, it was looking like it was just yeah. about i two. feel like if they turned it around yeah. to the other side where because it looked like a rectangular type of field where the, it could spread the cars out a lot mm -hmm. further so if they i think they will get it better yeah i'm yeah. sure but yeah the initiative or maybe is, they should just elevate the screen that's another thing mm. I think that's all. They Might be to too do. much for the person right in front if it's too elevated because then they're like this. No, do so you, they need no, to you get have a wider parking limit. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. It, does it, once you elevate it, you just know that, okay, you can't move beyond this point. Mm. You, you try out everything. I feel like that's what this is. The problem is that it's too, it's the, the park it's convertible is, people that will enjoy this matter. <laughs> as in, the park is just too um, narrow. He knows that. That's why I was the one in the convertible. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> even the way we, they do it abroad, I've only I've done that one time in my life. And I literally wanted to do it because I could see that um, we it. sat... We sat on top of the um, the bonnet, and it was like the, it was wide, rather than like to the back. It was like wide. It was very nice. Regardless, it's a welcome development. Very I'm sure nice they development. Will. It is. Yeah. They should not do night. They sports, should do though, which it is better. the most romantic one because of the stars. But don't do night in Nigeria because there's mosquito. Except you bring your Why? No, your don't mosquito. You have that was when you have your mosquito repellent. And your you want to be romantic. Yes. I, I don't even think romance. I want to go during the day in Abuja with Abuja sun. But okay, mm. this like, I think no. from what I heard from those who went there, the tickets were sold for five thousand naira. Yeah. So do you think it would be the same price in Lagos State? Yeah, we think. It more or less 
Make it to be more. Mm. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Abuja people have money more yeah, than exactly. us. Exactly. <laughs> That's what we think. <laughs> That's what we know. Uh, That's they what you money. think. Uh, they have money, yes, but uh, Lagos, Lagos just like to show off. Yeah. And Lagos just like it, to show off even when they don't have. Abuja people have and they spend yeah. it. They well, spend I think it's because it. the yes. people that yeah, there's just a lot. In Abuja, it's yeah. a concentrated amount of wealth in Abuja. Like, they say if they say you have to be in a certain sector or something. Eighty percent of Abuja people have money, but in in Lagos we also have a lot of money. They I, I feel like in either ways, if they up to the price, Lagosians will still will still pay. But I think five k is a good. It's a good yeah, amount. Yeah, it's, it's 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 fair. It's decent. Anything more than that, like what are you providing? It's just the screen. Like it should it should are be they, cheaper are they than popcorns and all of that. I, I'm I'm sure that will still be an option if you want. So I have okay. to buy popcorn. With on my, top of the five kids. They have, they have to. When, if you're bringing to Lagos, they have to bring a movie I haven't seen, so I can't be tempted to go and watch. Is there a movie okay. you haven't seen? And there would be. Of course. There definitely would be. Okay. Okay, so moving on to the next story. Multi Choice Nigeria, organizers of um, Nigeria's most popular reality TV show, Big Brother Nigeria, begins audition for season five. Of course, due to the pandemic, the auditions have been moved online. All you need to do is log on to their website, um, upload a two minutes video introducing yourself, telling Big Brother why you should be in the house this season. I think you have till the 30th of May to send your entry in. So. Yeah, let's go and do it. You, you want us to try? Let's go try. We'll, Let's we'll go tell try. them to count us as a one. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that will be our age. If I will be entering. I don't know. It might mm -hmm. just be okay. a surprise. You might just see me in the house. Wait, when you uh, don't what? see me on this table again, I'm obviously in the Big Brother house. Okay. Mm. Mm. I, don't, I, I feel like that will be the safest place to go to right now because COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, um, like a way so to let's our audition to run away from COVID. <laughs> a concentrated mm -hmm. place that you don't actually have to go out and you're eating and life is sorted. I feel like it's a brilliant idea. I think they would see a, a and build some fame as well. Yes, and I, I think they'll be they'll see a surge in this because a, a lot of people have a lot more reason to apply for this because now people are hungry um there's nothing to look at for at home like it's it's such a fantastic idea but um i think i know for sure that there'll be an influx even me i had to think about it twice like ah, how much again is it let me start to calculate i, I mean my... the influx is definitely expected because even when it was offline we know the crowd the mm. queue now it's just sitting in your house shoot your two minutes video and mm. i mean and there has always been the idea. I mean, it's always an insinuation that Big Brother already knows the people that are going into the house before mm. they get to the house. If that's going to be the case, then this period is the best time to actually do that because mm. who do you know sent a video or did yeah. not send a, send a video? But it's, it's good. I can't wait for them to be back on the screen. Yeah. And I just hope that it's... It's, it is not exactly like the last one. I hope that it becomes like the one before the last because the last one was just... Yeah. Do you watch it like that? I didn't even watch it. Exactly. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. It wasn't that bad. No, sorry. It wasn't that. It took bad. a while. You know, we had this conversation on this table, right? That's so. what I know. <laughs> it took a while for me to enjoy it. Yeah. Like until there were like maybe seven or eight people left. It was a drag for you me. You know, sometimes the the ones that slip into social media will give you an idea of what you would expect when you finally start watching. All the big brothers have never started from day one. I probably start like. Um, a week to the eviction mm. week and then i start getting to know who they are and but this one the kind of things that we're rolling out in social media were just so ratchet and i'm like mm. what exactly is going on here this is not the kind of content i want to watch of course a lot of people watch it i'm not saying it's bad but it wasn't just my content mm. so i hope that they can bring back that level of um there is a level of seriousness that came with the bisola sets mm. and even the afa sets there's no level of seriousness in big brother mm. <laughs> no there is no there is, there is. Oh, there even I, I there was a brother, level of seriousness fun. even in this one uh, un was involved in this like it's not all banter mm -hmm. um there is some level of serious seriousness associated it's like a two-sided coin like there's entertainment and ratchetness and but there's still the yeah that's when they get size. given the task and they're supposed to do intellectual stuff but um aside that i see big brother is just not not the type of content that if you're a serious minded person you just want to sit down nah, and be like there are a lot of big content brother. in big brother when you're they give them tasks no. it's the task not the content every day fair 
task is every every night yeah, some they task have are something just that they're doing and stuff like that's, that that's but when they tell that them sometimes create, the task could be the task could get serious like the, I, I feel like it to, to, to me i feel like it was but the tasks for me were okay i think it was the people and the ratchetness and the drama that was the associated to that basically. that was a bit trash but they had like i enjoyed their taxes it was like stimulating when this guy was there the guy with the mustache um i was always ex waiting for him okay. to uh, what's his name now? I can't remember. He had a mustache. He was really creative. He could draw and he could paint. The things he was doing in the house with the limited resources was nice. But I'm not sure they said the personalities were as... Like, I could see that we were scr we were scrambling for something to hold on to. Like, even Mike, that was huge. He didn't really offer me much. That I wasn't, like, super entertained. But that's all we got. So we had to manage. And we had to, like, overemphasize on little things. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... That's okay, it's time for a quick break. But when we come back, we'll have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Looking at this 10 million streams on this song on this platform, amazing how that translates to less than $5,000 in revenue. Magic stuff. Thus is the story of the hit song, Laugh Out Loud. And it's coming from Mr. Easy. What song is it? I you mean, that's what, what platform is it? Huh? YouTube. You didn't disclose the yeah, song. Yeah, so what? YouTube? Yeah. How YouTube you, streams. How sure is YouTube? It's not views. It's talking about streams now. So it's yeah, I don't think Spotify. it's talking about YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's talking I don't about think streams talking about and not views. Right. Okay. So we don't know what song it is, but um, I don't know. I don't know how the algorithm works for whatever platform it is, and I don't know how they calculate their. Let me explain it to you. Right. Okay. Because I see okay, YouTuber. <laughs> um, so on it's YouTube. Not YouTube. Um, okay, I mean, yeah. we don't we don't have anything. Yeah. I will use YouTube as an example. So with YouTube, it depends um, on like your location, and that's why sometimes you find YouTubers in Nigeria trying to like. What do you call it? Make that location invisible so they can reach more crowds. It's about the ads that are on your channel and then how much ads you have. Mm. What, the first thing I, I thought about, maybe it's because, like, again, I, I'm, I used to be a YouTuber, is that I thought about YouTube and it's different. Sometimes you need to give it time to grow because it increases by viewing. So mm. when you see an ad, if you skip before whatever, they get a very tiny percent. If you watch it to the end, they get a lot. Now, depending on how many people watch that, and watch it fully and um, ads that they see and things like that. Some pe that's why some people don't like to have that feature where you can download the video and it watch it offline. It also depends on the length of your video. It depends on a lot of things. A lot of, uh, because mm, even with the length, if I have a four minute video and I decide to put in an ad five times, it can work as well. No, no, you can't. You can't you put can. an ad on four minutes. You, can you can't. Can. You have to check it out now. They've turned the whole okay. thing. You can't. Okay. It has well, to be more than four minutes for you to be able to do second mm, okay. ads. Yeah. Well, so it really depends on like the ads that come inside, the viewers, how they interact with your ads and things like that. The only thing I wanted to say to him was like, you should watch it grow because... Um, the numbers increase. It's not standard. Like it's not as if you know, at the end of the month. Big, my dear. It happens. There's a YouTube I'm sure it's not YouTube anyway. I have that feeling it's not YouTube mm. because of the and word he used. And because over here, I know videos can also be classified as streaming, but over here we really don't use the word stream when we're talking of um we YouTube. basically we use views. Yeah. Yeah, we use views. So I, I I don't know the platform and it makes it difficult for us to talk about it. So if this is just one platform and I'm I'm guessing it's just platforms that are not so big or the i but don't 10 know. million it has to be big it has, it has to, to be, be spotify or title if it's on title no. or it's making me think audio of singing career soundcloud soundcloud could be like. could be heaps of them so i don't know how it works but so I, and i want to believe that that song times. is on other platforms is it so uh, so if it's on other platform that's five thousand five thousand five thousand five well you're rich you're okay <laughs> do you know how much it takes to promote one song 
Um, but five thousand is very low. Not, it is it extremely is very low. low for that. Not, so, for I don't that, think um, it would take so much money for a Mr. Easy to promote a song. Uh -huh. Sorry, you. Hmm. If for a, a Mr. Easy, music business is not. A I don't think it would be so much. Yeah, it would. No, but five thousand is money. very low because if you, if, if we're taking YouTube for example, the the average for people who have five million views is about fourteen thousand dollars. So five thousand dollars for. 10 million views is very little like something is actually up with that algorithm if it's on youtube but spotify i don't know anything about that okay since we don't know um we can our condolences to you <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's the best way to put it we are sorry you are going through this so sit with the platform i know if you're pulling your songs mm -hmm. or you're still going to be on the platform because really mm -hmm. i don't know it doesn't make sense um moving on chrissy is in the news again she recently put together a pr package to promote her food websites, which included cookwares, cookbooks, and other related merchandise, which she then sent out to few celebrity pals. All her pals were apparently not on the list for the box of goodies, so she took to her Instagram stories to address the reception and reactions of and from her people. Um, she says, and I quote, please don't ask me for a box. My marketing budget is not infinite, but my love for you is. Also, I see some of you asking, and you're literally rich. Before I had, before I had to make my own boxes, I'd get boxes all the time and i just donate them or give them away i didn't even think twice about it then i started making my own and it was a ton of work i put it together it is very curated it's a labor of love and i would never ever throw away or not thank somebody profusely end of quote mm. Mm. I like that she's talking about this and also from a personal angle of her learning from it as well because um, I think a lot of celebrities are on this table. Um, maybe whatever she packaged is looking really nice and that's why those that didn't get it are actually reaching out to say, okay, I need to get mine, what's up? Um, I, from everything she said, talking about the PR packages is one and secondly is... Um, talking about friends supporting friends businesses Thank you. basically so um there are times you get this package and you feel like well i'm i'm deserving of it because mm -hmm. i am an influencer or because i am a celebrity so they just sent it to you and over here i've seen some celebrities not understand it until they also have to promote something mm. off their own and realize that oh my this is not a joke but i've been getting things like this and i just saw it as an entitlement or a privilege yes it's you have grown your network to that level to be be on that list to get that but it's, it's also nice to just put out something to appreciate the efforts of these people because it is marketing it's not that easy but also i mean if you are a rich person or if you are you can afford what your friend is selling and maybe the box doesn't come to you as human as a human being i know you'd feel some type of way is it that i'm not in deserving. your clique i'm not deserving or you don't consider me as friend but maybe sometimes you should just go beyond that thoughts that can seem negative, even though I don't think it's negative, business. and just support the business in whatever I, way. I, I agree with you 100% because a lot of um, celebrities have the self um, sense of entitlement when it comes to stuff like this. That, like you rightly said, like, oh, am I not deserving and all that? But sometimes, even when you get it, send them things, they don't even, even acknowledge it. Even when you get it, what's the now? Somebody sends something to you for you to know what's in the package, how good it is. It doesn't cost you anything to buy for your mother, buy for your father, buy for your friends do you understand you can afford it but no once you have yours oh i'm good and you think that's it you don't even put it on your page to even promote that person's business to even start with even if you can't buy the least you could do is to promote it but a lot of them will just get it and just probably send you a message thank you i got it and that some it. of them don't even acknowledge it yeah, so at all. i think i think i like i like how she came out to address this because this is something that has been um happening happening and a lot of people don't talk about it but i feel like um when you have a friend doing a business it's only right you see somebody maybe having a movie premiere and yeah or maybe a show or a concert and you look waiting for free tickets no don't wait for free tickets buy because they are you if you call them your friends you're supposed to support them don't say oh because you're friends i should get 10 tickets yeah but on the flip side of that if you are i don't know hmm. 
Um, I don't think it's a celebrity. Pro I agree with everything mm -hmm. I've said, but I don't think it's a celebrity problem. Mm -hmm. I know it's like an everybody, everybody problem yeah. for sure. When you start to go into business and things like that, first time I've ever um, um, got into business, I think the story I can bring out of it is that I'm very sensitive about my friends. Like if I see that somebody else is going somewhere when I'm offering that service, it hurts. Like I'm not even gonna lie, or like I'm thinking, oh, I have so Why? many friends. People are going to be able to practice. You just you just said now you're the one breath that you want people to support. Now you're surprised that I'm upset that people are not supporting. I won't be upset. Like, I, I would be surprised. Price, and anyway, for me, it was just a, like a personal thing. But I think with time, you start to realize that that's how life is. Um, mm. And having that, having that understanding and that relationship to be content is the key. So content, if I'm the business owner and people are my friends, close friends that I'm expecting to really have my back mm. are not supporting. And then I think on the flip side, um, when somebody else is doing business and they're offering the, um, PR packages to their loved ones and things like that, and it, they don't involve me. I think, uh, to me, on this table, um, I don't think it's about being rich for, for her. I think, um, and I like that she balances out because that rich statement to me is not really working for me. I think people ha have emotions, and when you have a list, because I looked at the list, it was hard, I looked around, and searched for people who have, that, who have that PR package. It wasn't just about being an influencer. It was about being a close friend. So, of course, people are going to be... Um, they touched about that, especially if they feel like they have a certain type of relationship with you. I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry I have to disagree. I think it was you who mentioned that because if I'm making a list of people, like when I got engaged, I had to make a list of people I needed to announce to before I got, um, before I put it on, on social media. I knew I couldn't tell everyone. I had to make a list according to priority. So that means that, but that doesn't mean that if you didn't get on that list, you don't, I don't care about you. I just don't care about you enough in comparison to the people on that list. Okay. And that, that, but, that, but, but that's, that's basically that's, what that's, it is. That's life. It's not an, a hard feeling thing. Mm -hmm. So she has to understand when people react to that. So people who react to that, oh, if you didn't tell me personally, I apologize and just say, I had a long list. And well, that was true. doesn't mean that I don't care about the person's feelings or I'm not like friends with you or whatever. Like I said, that's something you have to learn um, with time, being so content with, other, with that the position she, that you are in. She should have understood yes. their reaction. And I don't think it's about being rich. Mm. Okay. okay. But then I just want to focus on the other part when it comes to payout packages because maybe because I walk in that space and I know how people act. And when you say it doesn't just happen to um, um, celebrities alone, so it's usually celebrities. If you have a PR package and you send it to your normal friend, they'll post on WhatsApp, they'll post on Instagram, they'll post not on Facebook. Hmm. Except what you're sending to them is not looking good. I mean, when you send somebody a birthday present, they even take it as a big deal. Not talk about when it's not their birthday, it's nothing. You just package something that is amazing and send to them. I think they would want to appreciate it. It's when you have seen yourself as, oh, I deserve it. My position mm. says that you should send me this. That is when you, you are hesitant to even appreciate things like that. Right. I think that's where she's coming from. But for her friends and co, I think they will be all right. They will. They will. They will. We all will. Okay, um, thank you for watching. This is where we wrap up this episode. Um, you can join the conversation by sending your opinion via WhatsApp to 090 605719 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always goes to my co anchors, Ife Olu Oshake, and Ife Omai, <laughs> and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Stay Time. My name is Ossie Godwin. Do stay safe.